3D printing is a new technology that has people spending thousands of dollars online to buy bulky units that let them create all kinds of objects, from figurines to parts for their cars. We're here with Creopop, a startup that's making a 3D pen that lets you draw shapes from nothing. So this is, this is the Creopop pen. Uh, this is currently a third generation prototype. Uh, the way it works is that we synthesize our own photopolymers and the photopolymer is actually pushed through the pen with the motor and it comes out of the nozzle here and since it's a photopolymer uh, there are three diodes at the front as you can see uh, that actually emits UV light and upon impact of the UV light the polymer turns into a solid. So the, the, the photopolymer basically is cured by the UV light as you draw. Okay so this isn't plastic that's being heated up. There's no element of the pen which heats up. So okay. it's com the, the ink is physically cool. Great, so what does that look like when you actually start drawing something? So like I said, the UV light cures the polymer. Yeah, you can definitely hear the motor pushing the polymer yep. out. Yep. So what kinds of things has Creopop seen uh, made with their pen? We've made cubes, we've made uh, a lot of things. Actually, if you go to our website, there's a whole gallery of items which have been drawn using the pen. The best part is that you can pick your drawing up and actually draw on it since it doesn't actually heat it up. Right. So it, since it's physically cool, you can actually keep on drawing on top of it. Seems like it would make it a lot easier to actually manipulate the art you're working yes. with and get yes. it at it from different angles. Exactly, exactly. How long do people spend on these little art projects? Um, it depends. Uh, it depends obviously on the scale. Uh, mm -hmm. It also depends on uh, how stable you want it to be. Of course, if it's something of a bigger size, you need to spend more time creating a base for it. So it, it could take anything from seconds to you know, hours or days. And then where do you get the polymer to use with it? So the, the polymer is, is done with our research lab. Uh, our R&D lab, and they actually make the polymer and synthesize the polymers. Okay, so you'll buy the, both the pen and the polymers through Creopop? Yes. Okay. Are these polymers only available in certain colors, or can you, you crank out okay, colors? Okay, so, so the, way, the way it works is the polymers come in different colors, and also in different types. So far, we have actually, uh, at, at the GlazeCon conference, we, we actually demonstrated temperature-sensitive ink. Which uh, changes color according to, to temperature. Oh, interesting. Um, we also have the magnetic ink. You know, you can make your own fridge magnet. Um, you can have conductive ink, um, and then we have aromatic ink, glow in the dark ink, uh, glittering ink. So, thanks for stopping by and giving us a demo of the Creopop. Thank you.